All right, so you've got this beautiful preview right here. This looks good for what we are gonna turn in. However, there are some changes we need to make before we actually take it to the machine. If I go to tool paths and I hit this little clock right here, what that it will do is it will tell me how long it's gonna take. Right now it says that this one, VCarve 2, is gonna take three hours and eight minutes. That is not okay. If yours is under about 20 minutes, that's good. If it's over about 20 minutes, we definitely need to fix it. Um, but what everybody needs to do is, uh, so find your tool path that you want. So right here I've got two different tool paths. This one right here, this VCarve 2 is the one I want. So get whatever tool path you want. You're going to double click it. Our tool right here says VBit 90 degrees 1 half inch but we need to change some of these settings in here. So I'm going to click on edit and there are a couple of things we definitely need to change in here. So on Schoology doo -doo -doo, under the CNC section we have CNC edit tool. If you scroll down you're going to change the pass depth, the final pass step over, the clearance pass step over, the feed rate, and the plunge rate. And what all these do are pass depth, we're going to change that. That's how deep it goes every single cut. The step over is kind of side to side, how much it goes over. The feed rate is how fast it goes, and the plunge rate is how fast it goes downward. So we need to change these one, two, three, four, five things. So let's go ahead and change that. And again, just follow the numbers that are on Schoology. All right. And then make sure you hit calculate again, and you'll notice there are much fewer blue lines. I'm going to reset my preview. I'm going to preview it again. It should look the exact same. However, when I go to my estimated time, I can see before it was three hours, and now it is five minutes and 59 seconds. So brought all that down to about six minutes, which is excellent. All right, so then I'm going to hit close, and when it's time to save it to the machine, what you're going to do is you're going to get a flash drive uh, at the front of the classroom. You're going to plug in your flash drive to your laptop. It may come up and say, hey, there's an error. That's fine. Just hit OK. All right, so mine USB drive is plugged in. So now I'm going to go to Save Toolpath. And this is for right when you take it to the machine. You don't need to do this way ahead of time because it's going to be saved to a flash drive. It'll probably get deleted. So when you are ready to go to the machine. Um, sorry, this Save Toolpath. Make sure toolpaths to be saved. Make sure it just has the ones that you want. So right here, I've got two different toolpaths. I don't want that first one. Make sure it is just the ones you want. Post processor. This is where you tell it which CNC machine you have. Ours. CNC Shark USB Arcs Inch dot Tap. I'm going to click on that. CNC Shark USB Arcs Inch dot Tap. I'm going to hit Save Toolpath, and I'm going to find that flash drive. So, doo -doo, flash drive. You'll notice other people's work is probably on there. Leave it alone. You'll also notice that there are only a couple letters long. The way you need to save this, first initial, last initial, period number, hit Save. When you bring it to the machine, the machine will only show the first couple of letters, so if you give it some long name, it's just going to chop it off. So when you hit save, just first initial, last initial, period number, hit save. Now, after that saves, it only takes a second to save it because it's a really small file. Pull out your USB drive, take that to the machine, and then you're ready to mill it out.